In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice classifying triangles. In this first example, it says which of the figures below are not triangles. So to be a triangle, it has to have three sides, and the three sides should be connected. There shouldn't be any gaps, and all sides should be straight lines. When I look at these, a is definitely a triangle, three sides, all connected, all straight lines. B is not a triangle because of this curved side, so B is not a triangle. C is a triangle. In fact, it's a right triangle because it has a right angle, so that's a triangle. D is not a triangle because of this little gap right here. So D would also be an answer. It's not a triangle. So the answers would be B and D. Moving on to example B, which term best describes triangle RST below? So we want to think about, can we classify this triangle based on its angles? And can we classify it based on its sides? We might not have enough information to classify it both ways, but we want to make sure we describe it as completely as possible. For the angles, we have 92 degrees as marked, and 92 degrees is an obtuse angle. Anytime an, a triangle has an obtuse angle, that means it's an obtuse triangle. So this is an obtuse triangle. As far as describing it based on its sides, no sides are marked, so we really shouldn't say if it's scalene, isosceles, or equilateral, but it does look to be scalene just based on how it is drawn. It looks like all three sides are different, so if you said scalene, that'd probably be okay, but you really should make sure you have information marked before you assume anything about a diagram. The only thing we know for sure is that it is not equilateral, because to be equilateral, all the angles would have to be 60 degrees, so it's definitely not equilateral. And finally, let's look at example C. Classify the triangle by its sides and angles. So this triangle, for sides, I, we see that two sides are the same length, so that means it's isosceles based on its sides. That word isosceles means two sides the same length. Anytime two sides are the same length, it also means that two angles are the same length, by the way. So these angles would have to be the same. Now, it asks us to classify this triangle based on its angles, and no angles are marked. However, they all look to be acute. So if we assume this triangle is drawn to scale, I would also say that this is an acute triangle because all three angles in this picture are less than 90 degrees. So this would be an acute isosceles triangle or an isosceles acute triangle. The order of those words doesn't really matter.